one of those followers. I'm telling you, in my head, she doesn't know this. We are best friends. She is so incredibly talented, and she's taking a little bit of time to answer some questions with us here today. Here is Brazilian superstar, songwriter, and singer, Anita. <laughs> in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and I hope that you are all safe, healthy, and practicing social distancing. Yo espero que todos ustedes estén saludables, eh, seguros, practicando el distanciamiento social que es muy importante ahora en este momento. I'm here with Live by Life to support Music Cares during this coronavirus pandemic. While I miss my friends, family, and fans so, so, so much, we literally can stay in touch when we are away from each other by having family dinners on video chat and dance parties on Instagram Live. Also, things like this uh, that support young, talented artists from around the world. I'm really happy to be here with you guys. And right now, I'm going to answer to some questions that some people invited me to. Okay. I was sent these questions and I'm gonna read for you guys right now. Question number one, how are you staying healthy during these crazy times? Um, actually, I think that I, I feel more healthy uh, than I was feeling before because when I'm on tour, um, and also I think that this pandemic is teaching us, is kind of teaching us this, that I was working way more than I needed, I think. Um, I was eating whenever it was, I was able to sleep the same thing. Um, I wasn't drinking water that much. I wasn't paying attention to my healthy, my healthiness that much like I am right now, you know? So um, I think that it's been, it's been better. I'm eating better. I'm sleeping the right times. So maybe it's, it's been a good thing for me, for my health, okay? Just for the health thing, my um, privilege to be at home right now. Okay, so question number two, what's your favorite show right now? Um, so being at home, I think, I, I love, I love watching TV, so, Every single show that pops on uh, pops up on Netflix or television, whatever, and they are like able to watch. Here in Brazil, there's this Big Brother that is right now happening in Brazil, and I'm like addicted, and I think all the country is addicted too. So right now I'm watching this. I've I've watched uh, Love Is Blind on Netflix. I'm watching a lot of stuff. So um, I don't know if I if there's one particular thing that I'm that I'm watching. Question number three, uh, who have you been listening to lately? And is there any new artists uh, we should all know about? Um, I think, I think I've been, lis I've been listening to all of these artists that are going big with the songs on, on TikTok. So <laughs> these songs for me are the ones that I've been listening the, the most, the most. And um, I think the artist that it's not young, like it's not new, but I've been I've been listening a lot this quarantine is Burna Boy. And um I mean the artists that I always I'm always listening is Mariah Carey, John Mayer and Kobe Kylock, so but they are my number one in my life, so um question number four. Uh, what is your favorite part of making music and being an artist? I think that my favorite part is when I can see people in the world or at the street, whatever, reproducing whatever I do in my in my artistic life, you know, my music videos, or uh, when they are singing my songs or repeating the way my choreographies or the way I speak or the way I dress. I just feel really special when I see people reproducing my art. I, I, I think this is the most amazing part. 
Um, question number five, if you had to cook a meal for everyone in the world to try it, um, what would it be? Okay, so I've been taking some classes in, uh, during this quarantine, like French classes, like working out at home, like online classes, you know, and one of that was w one of those um, was the cook classes, cooking. I was learning how to cook some things, but I think that if I needed to cook for people to watch, and then to try to do it, I think it would be a pizza, like Brazilian style, which is my mom and I, we created this one. So probably it, I would feel better with this one because I would be, be like 100% sure that people would like it. So my pizza would be the one, the choice. Um, question six, if there was one person you could collaborate with this year, who would, who would it be? I think, um, okay, let me take advantage that we talk sometimes. Uh, Drake. Okay, I always say, I always say that and I, I would collaborate with him because I, I really love his work. And, um, I think it kind of matches with my kind of music. Like, um, it's, it's not one type specifically. Sometimes he's, he's singing some romantic kind of songs. The other ones are more like to shake it the body <laughs> others to do the um, tiktok challenge so yeah i really i would really like to collaborate with him after this quarantine is over i'm gonna text to drake about that um <laughs> question number seven who's your favorite dancer so i'm fascinated about music and dance of course uh that's why i dance so much in my in my concert um, I think that my favorite dancers, number one, the number one that I saw in my life was Ashley. Uh, she danced with Beyonce and I had the opportunity, amazing one, to work with her. And the R.I.P. music video and the Fuego music video, uh, which also in both videos she was with my other favorite dancer, which is JR. I love him. He's amazing and such a good person. We became friends. I love him the most. Uh, I think Jade Bug, Jade, she's amazing. I worked with her in the Machika video, music video. Um, other one that I love is Isabel Camps. She's great. I always, I, I go crazy with her videos. And also the Queen Paris. Um, I think they are great dancers. I mean, it's not one favorite dancer, but Okay, that's the, the best I could do. Uh, number eight, question number eight. Eight, um, if you were on an island for one year with no phone or internet, who would you take with you? I think, first of all, my dogs. I think Plinio, my dogs, and my other dog, Tobias. I, I, mean, I mean, I'm addicted to my dogs, number one, and I think they, they make good company to me. Um, but to take like a person to take with me, I don't think I would take a person for my family because we would fight. <laughs> like if it was my mom, we, we, we would fight a lot or my brother for sure. Uh, my father, we would not fight, but my mom would get jealous. So not, not him is not an option. My aunt, I, I would not fight with them, but my mom would get jealous too, so. Or if I bring one and the other one would be jealous, so I don't know. And I think, guys, it's not a good idea to because imagine you go through some struggle on private eye, like private on an island that you can't have anyone or anything. So I don't know, I would probably get annoyed or pissed off or bored if I brought a guy. Um. Okay, some friend from my childhood, maybe. Yeah, some friend from my childhood is the best option because we know each other for a long time. We love each other for a long time. Oh my God, my dog, Plinio, Plinio. Oh, that's him. <laughs> I was talking about him and he's, yes, yeah. Oh my God. Okay, that's the, that's the number one I would, Oh my God, now all of them are here. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, my other dog, Olavo. My other dog, Tobias. Oh my God. 
Ja. <laughs> okay, all of them. You can stay here. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> Okay, my dogs would be amazing options for like an island. Um, question number nine, we are almost done. What's your favorite quarantine activity? I think my favorite activity is taking classes. I think online classes for me is the best thing. I feel, I feel happy learning things, you know? So um, I decided to take classes of things that I always wanted to learn, like French, like... Um, piano like cooking and i think that now i have time to do time to do this and um i'm taking advantage to learn some things that i always wanted but i didn't have time now i have it so it's my favorite activity having classes uh question number 10 what do you miss most about life before the pandemic so i'm a very party person um i love to be at home uh, as always, I always loved, um, it's like a thing of me, I always love to be at home, but I love to be at home with my people, like my friends, my family. So for me, what I miss more, I mean, I, I, I love my work, okay? <laughs> Don't be scared, I love my work, but I mean, out of Brazil, international career, I've been working only for two, three years. So you guys out of Brazil know me for maybe two or three years, but I have a career here in Brazil for 10 years. So I, I worked a lot and I was kind of tired. I was, I was needing this break a little bit. So um, I'm fine by now, not working, but what I miss more, I think it's having people at my house. I love inviting everyone to my house, like a lot of friends, like, hundreds of people like 100 friends here at the same time drinking together and laughing and having fun so i think that's the number one thing that i miss more yeah it's good the 10 questions it was a pleasure to be here with you guys thank you so much and i i can't wait for the next thing that we are gonna get together and be together in this crazy times that we are living uh stay healthy but let's stay together at home who can, of course. Kisses. Bye. Oh my gosh. Dogs. Jealous. So cute. If you have a dog during this quarantine isolation, that is amazing. Cats too. They're fine. That was Anita. Thank you so much for doing that Q&A with us. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Anita, you might be real soon because she is huge in the Latin markets and Brazil. Like, gigantic. Um, if you want to learn a little bit more about her, she's got a great...